Uh, would you please turn down the loudspeaker? Sir? Uh, turn down the loudspeaker. Turn we down the loudspeaker? Yes, we are conducting here a sound test. Uh, this is a radio studio, sir, and I'm conducting a radio program, I thought. It appears to me that, of course, a radio station would be the perfect place for a sound test, would a it sound not? Te what, what company are you with, sir? I am with the Sound International. Sound International. Yes, Your I'm name is... Uh, Pierre La Decibel. Pierre La Decibel. Yes, yes sir. And well, well, what, you, what, what is this test about? This is a radio station. I can't I understand why. You see, why. the world is slowly going mad. The world is going mad? Because of sound. Because of sound. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, I have been appointed um, by your president, as well as my own, uh, to conduct uh, a survey. A survey? To find out uh, why people are subject to uh, strange reactions from loud sounds and soft sounds and so on. Well, I don't see anything in my memos of things to happen this afternoon where Pierre La Decibel and the Sound International shall invade my studio. I don't I, understand this, sir. You are contributing to a very bad emotional state. A bad emotional state? I am, you, you're not helping either. Have you heard your program? <laughs> I, do, I don't understand. What do you mean? People are going mad by sound? People listen to too much noise, they go mad. The, the human ear can only stand so much noise. So I see. And believe me, your program is so much noise. <laughs> are there some sounds, uh, Pierre, that are worse than others? Or? Yes, I think uh, there are. Uh, for example, uh, the, uh, you hear a sound, a phrase like, uh, your mother-in-law is coming to dinner. Yes. That's a terrible sound. Right. Um, I have, uh, you have undoubtedly heard the screeching of automobile horns, the screeching of tires uh, right. when the automobile almost misses a pedestrian. You don't hear, see that often, of course. <laughs> Most of them are good drivers. They hit what they aim at. Oh, Pierre, I'm game for almost anything on you a Sunday. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> me. Very game, yeah. On a Sunday afternoon. But uh, I can't really stop my show to, to have somebody make sound measurements. I don't understand a person like you. Sir? You are the, it is people like you that are the cause of it all. You I, understand that? Everyone I, is. We are all being punished by the sounds. I, 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 I'm, I'm just doing a job. Uh, may I say not too well either. <laughs> because you are penetrating the sound, don't you understand what you are doing to the brains of your fellow man? Oh? Oh. Sh uh, shh. Please keep it, keep your voice down. Very softly. Actually, soft, very softly. softly as you that is the answer to all the world. There would be no problem if we all talked softly. Talk very you softly. You understand, even a no sounds pretty good in the UN. If it's softly, you must talk softly. Otherwise, you are going to hurt everybody's ears. Well, I, I don't... When, when did this problem with sounds come about, Pierre? Well, uh, when did you start in radio? Well, it's... Beside the point. No, here. seriously, I have uh, heard your program, and uh, I couldn't help it, of course. You're you're saying to me that certain sounds irritate the mind, the subconscious, to the point of uh, maybe doing something catastrophic. Oh, no question about it. No question about it. Uh, I know a bunch of men who ran out of a building and jumped into a vehicle and tore down the street simply because someone yelled fire. You see, the world affects you. It has a, what you call a, an emotional effect on you. And a person will react to that terribly. Uh, every the call of crime, murder, robbery, this sort of thing. This is, is, all the is triggered by sound. No, certainly. Uh, so is a bullet. <laughs> no, but seriously, we are all here for a purpose. And I don't understand. Why don't you get another job? Seriously. Well, you, could, you don't have to make sound. It would be a very weird sounding radio station if I didn't. That's exactly right. But nobody would get mad at you. You understand? No one would be angered or upset if we had no sound in the radio. Oh, I don't know about that. There's a lot of advertisers that would become concerned. Name one. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> You must, I mean seriously, it is, look at the number of people in this country that they are suffering deep emotional crisis because of this. Our uh, institutions, mental institutions are filled with people who are there because of sound. Pierre, my boss is going to get very concerned if I don't get on with the show here. I'm sorry, but I just, I just can't Let buy this. Let me try to explain a little more to you. I have told you about the sounds that irritate people. Mm -hmm. There are also sounds which uh, are helpful and relieve tension and relax people. Oh. Uh, words, for example. A simple word. Soft. Yes. Is that the word? Now, don't you feel better having I do. that song? Would you say yes. that again? Soft. Would you say it again? You're putting me on. Soft. <laughs>
Well, Pierre, now you've showed us an example of the soothing sounds of words and their abilities. What inversely would be a, a, a word that would bring out the beast in us? The word, for example, catastrophic. Catastrophic? Oh, of course, these uh, whole nations could be affected by this at one time if I the word is used wrong and too loud, you see. Would you, would you say it again? Catastrophic. Would you say it again? Catastrophic. Would you say it again? Please. Control, oh, control lost, yourself. You're right. The, the word just had an effect on me. Certainly it did. It will have an effect on anyone, even a person employed as you are. <laughs> now, seriously. The so we should not use the word... Catastrophic. Catastrophic. That's no. very... No, no. Yes. We should use instead... Uh, Soft. Well, Pierre, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kick you out of the studio, but really, we must, uh, we must get on with the show here. Uh, I, I'm in perfect sympathy with your purpose here, and I hope sincerely that you've completed your tests. Well, we have not completed our tests because you will not get away from the microphone. I have simply uh, tried desperately to get across to you what we are doing, but you insist on continuing your program. We have to bring equipment in here for the tests. Well, how, how long would it take to get this equipment in here and do it? I would think it would probably take uh, several days to complete the test. <laughs> how many? Several days to complete the test. <laughs> Through the magic of radio, six and a half days later... Well, the tests are over. <laughs> we have completed them. Well, uh, do we pass or not? It's been, you've been conducting these tests now for a week. Actually, the tests... Uh, are completed except for one final thing. One final thing? Yes. Uh, the last thing, of course, is to test uh, the microphone. Which my, I, my microphone here? Uh, yes. One? If you would move away from move it. Move away from this. Oh, okay, Pierre, but let's make it quick now. Yes, I will. Uh, it is a microphone test. I wouldn't want to. Um. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's still. Is that it? That is it. Uh, yes. What, uh, what did you find out about the microphone? That it's plugged in. 